Yo, what is good guys? We have a smoke on snack dread replay between Dundies from the Melodics and Finch from the Leviathans. This is stage 2, week 5. So I set my alarm to wake up for this match. It was at 4 a.m. my time. I went to sleep early so I can record this game live. But no, they played like 2 hours earlier or something like that. So I missed it live. When I looked at the replay thread, there was already a replay. So yeah, now I will bring you guys the replay. I hope that's fine with you. I couldn't do anything. I really tried my best to bring it live. And... I think Dunnies is playing OU because his team is already out, otherwise he would be playing Little Cup. Looking at the teams, um, just really quick, I'm gonna make this video shorter. Megalady probably with Surf, Ice Beam, Roost, Defog, support for the Volcarona. Uh, Rocks, Glisco with Roost, Earthquake, Last Move is either Toxic or U-Turn. One of these two is gonna be Scarf. Apex probably Spadef with Scald, Recover, Toxic, Last Move is either Haze or Toxic, Spikes, and then Zemo Volcarona. Zeke, Bug, Buzz, Volcarona, a huge threat in this game, um, that's the most common Zemo on Volk at the moment. Plus one Z-Bug Boss Oko's Mega Tita. Um, really obvious that it's Mega Tita. He doesn't have another Mega. And Finch uh, spammed Mega Tita and Snack. He used it multiple times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it could be the Rocks Tita that he uses quite often, but it could also be Dragon Dance Tita and Rocks on Tran. But it could also be just the Crunch Pursuit um, set with like either four attacks or with Crunch Pursuit, Ice Punch, and another coverage move like Stone Edge or Fire Punch. Um, Tangros has to be a Salt Vest on this team, I feel, then Scarf Landris is really obvious. Tornadus is either Z-Move, Metronome or Rocky Helmet. If Torn is Z, then the Greninja can be Spax Battlebond or it can be Metronome Protein. Or um, if Gren is Z, then Torn can be Helmet or Metronome. And Tren is going to be Lefties, could be potentially Spadef, if it's Spadef then Dundies needs some chip on it. Um, so Volcarona can kill it with plus one HP ground, but um, he can scout for the set pretty much by um, yeah just attacking the Heatran with potentially scout from Pax or like Surf from Ladi. He will be able to find out the spread, I feel. Um, yeah, potential wind con for Finch if he's DD Mega Tita that can go in if it has Earthquake and if the Pax is Spadev and if Finch can get up some hazards. But I don't want to talk too much about team preview, we're going to get right into it. We see Extra Sensory already comes out. We're going to see is that a Scald or Toxic turn 1 here from Dunnies? Okay, it goes for Toxic Spikes instead. So I guessed that one wrong. Um, he could still, uh, he could either be Haze, and Scald and Recover are obvious. Last move could be Haze or either or Toxic, right? Um, we have seen non Haze packs quite often lately. But yeah, um, Finch goes for Extra Sensory, which means. He could be Metronome, which means the next extra sensory will do more. So Dandy doesn't want to stay in here. He's probably going to pivot into the uh, High Dragon or into the Ladi. Finch could potentially predict that and throw over Ice Beam here. Or Low Kick predict the High Dragon, depending on if he has Ice Beam or Low Kick. Uh, Dandy definitely doesn't want to stay in here in case it's uh, either Metronome or also Shattered Psych. If it's that, they will also be able to kill the packs. So pretty sure Dandy is going to pivot out. And um, Finch goes for Toxic Spikes. Okay. So we don't know yet if he's Zemo for Metronome, but he shows um, Toxic Spikes. Uh, which makes some sense with Extra Sensory. Though the Extra Sensory did absolutely nothing, confirming that it's Spadef Packs on Dundee's side. Now, um, yeah, Finish doesn't really have a switch in because the switch ins that he would usually have for High Dragon, like Tangrowth and Tita, they would get affected by the Toxic Spikes. So Finish doesn't want to go to them. So he's either going to stay in and go for Low Kick or Ice Beam, or he's going to pivot out into his Tornadus. Um, Dundee's goes for U-Turn, revealing that he's Choice Scarf High Dragon. And um, yeah, he's probably just going to pivot back into Toxic Packs to absorb the Toxic Spikes. And I assume Finch went for either Low Kick or Ice Beam just in case the High Dragon was not Choice Scarf. Um, I mean, if uh, Dundee's wasn't Scarf, I think he would have potentially just hard pivoted back into the packs. Or he might have gone for Dark Pulse. Not 100% sure. Now he probably might have just hard pivoted back, right? But yeah, High Dragon being confirmed Scarf means Katana is probably banded, right? Because the Z should be on the Volcarona. Um, but yeah, now we can see Scald or Toxic from... Well, we don't know yet if he has Toxic or Haze in the last stop, but we can see a Scald or Toxic most likely. Okay, he does have Toxic. I mean, the reason why I thought he could have also Toxic and not Haze is because um, Eternal Spirit is on Dundee's team, right? I'm pretty sure he helped him with this team. And uh, what's it called? Eternal Spirit used non-Haze or Haze Pax versus Ojama and Ulti. So that's why I thought about it. But yeah, now um, Finch can either stay in but like, and go for the flinch with Essence, but I feel like that's a bad play. Better play is probably going into Heatran, um, because if Heatran has leftovers, it can take Skulls quite easily, get some health back. Um, and if Dunnies goes for Toxic, Heatran is immune to it. So now, um, if he has Willow's Shield, that would be a good play to catch 
the um, Gliscor or the Ladi. Hydreigon is also a potential play, but since Hydreigon is Scarf, Gliscor or Ladi are more likely. Um, if he's not Wisp, then he's either going to get the Rock Sub or just go for Magma Storm. Let's just go for Magma Storm. Now, um, if he's modest and this does not have Spadef, Z-Move might actually kill on the Roost. I don't think Finch will risk that here, though. Um, the obvious play for Finch is just going into Torn. Um, yeah, and the obvious play for Dunnis would just be going for Roost, but if he's fearing the Fire Z to kill him if he doesn't have Spadef, he could also just go for Hard Earthquake, but I would probably just go for Roost here if I'm Dunnis, but the Earthquake's there. Um, I didn't run the card, but like I said, if he has no Spadef and if it's like Modest Tran, he could definitely die to a Z-Move, or if he only has a little bit of Spadef. So he was just fearing that Finch might stay in there and bop him with a Z. If he's like Modest, like I don't know Dunny's spread, he obviously knows his spread better than I know. So he goes on a Torn there, um, now Dunny's is just going to pivot into the obvious Toxapex to get rid of the Toxic Spikes, and then he will know if the Torn attacks him, if it's a bulky Torn, or if it's Max Special Attack, potential Z-Move, we still don't know if the Z-Move is on the Torn or on the Greninja. The damage does absolutely nothing, um, which makes me think it's probably Max HP, Rocky Helmet Tornadoes. Um, so Finch doesn't want to get Toxic on Torn, so he's probably going to U-turn or Heart Switch out into like, most likely Heatran, right? And Dundee's is most likely just going to try to throw off a skull here. No, he goes for Toxic again, which I don't necessarily agree with. Um, no, no, I get the play. He predicted the Torn to stay in and go for Defog, obviously. Um, but he already showed Toxic, so it was really obvious that Finch didn't want to stay in with the Torn there and pivot into Heatran. So now Dundee's is going to switch to one of his three Heatran checks. Finch might actually um, go for Rocks or Magma Storm. He goes for Magma Storm again, so I'm, at this point I'm thinking he probably has Rocks on the Titar. Because he never went for rocks with the Heatran. Because if he gets rocks up with the Heatran, he could make Dundee's Defog for him and would get rid of the Toxic Spikes because the Toxic Spikes annoy those three mons. So now he pivots into Hydreigon. If Finch has Protect, he can go for it, which he might have Protect. But he might also just be Magma Storm, Earth Power, Taunt, and last move either. Yeah, last move probably Toxic. Because he, if he had rocks, I think he would have clicked it by now. But yeah, at first I was thinking he could have been Spadeftran because he's kind of weak to Mega Alakazam. But maybe his Tita is EV to live a focus burst from Zam. Not sure about that. Um, but yeah. So if Finn just protect, he can go for it. But I assume he might not have it. Uh, if he doesn't have it, then he's probably going to pivot out into the Torn. Because he could also, he could also go to Tita or Tang if the Toxic Spike wasn't up. But since the Toxic Spike is up, he cannot do that. So if he has Protect, he's going to go for that to scout what this locks into. If he doesn't have Protect, he's going to pivot into the High Dragon here. Um... Then he's just go for U-turn, take some Rocky Hunt damage, confirming that it's that set. And he's gonna go either Gliscor to get some poison heal, or he's gonna go Toxapex, one of the two. Goes on the Gliscor, and unless this is like the rare HP Ice set, that's not really common at all. Now, you don't really see that at, at all in Sun and Moon. Um, other than that, um, I assume Finch is just gonna Devo here. And Dunny is most likely just gonna Ruth to get this back to full. And now Finch is gonna U-turn out our Heart Switch. Um, Dundee's might go for rocks here. Uh, what's the play for Finch? Probably Greninja or Tangros, one of the two. Yeah, goes Tangros, rocks go up. Now we could see the Ladi come. Nah, the thing can come out, the Pex. Oh, he goes for Toxic. Okay, I obviously wasn't sure if he had Toxic or U turn. Um, yeah, Toxic is really cool to catch Boogie Grass types like Tangros and Bulu. Also helps versus Mega Ladies that want to come in on Gliscor. So that's a cool tech. We have seen that a few times already in Snake. Um, Finch went into the Torn there. I don't know if he predicted Pex or Ladi or what he exactly predicted. But yeah, getting this Toxic is really good for Dundies. Now, um, since he's Toxic, well, he knows that the Gliscor can't hurt him because it's Earthquake, Roost, Toxic, Rocks. Uh, outside of Toxic, it can't hurt him, so Finch might just defog once, or, okay, he just throws out a Hurricane. Dunny's probably just spammed Roost, exactly. Um, so I thought he might try to defog, predicting him to go for Roost, and then... But that doesn't really do anything, yeah. Defogging wouldn't do anything, because then if he switches out, he would just get the rocks back up. Okay, so he gets the confusion there. I still think Finch has to switch out, because the Toxic is racking up. Um, Dunny's might not want to Roost uh, again, because he's confused. But yeah, Dunny's either going to Roost again, or go into Pex. Uh, Finch is gonna switch out here, not wanting to get hurt by the Toxic, I assume. Yeah, U turns out. The Greninja predicting either a Roost if the Gliscor. Yeah, predicting a Roost, exactly. I mean, I was gonna say if the Gliscor stays in, he predicts a Roost or he predicts the Pex, but since he already U turned, he knew that the Gliscor stayed in. But yeah, if I'm not making that much sense, it's because I woke up at 4 am. Now it's like 7 am when I'm recording this. 
Um, like, I was just so annoyed. Um, but yeah, let's not make this video too long. Um, so does he break the packs? He just goes for Ice Beam. I would just throw off a Scald here if I'm Dundies, um, because he has been going Tran or going for Toxic Spike, so you know Toxic doesn't really get you anything. Now, um, does he Scald again? Oh, he breaks into E-Sense. Good play there on Dundies. Catching the Greninja, and now... Mm, we still don't know if it's Metronome, right? I think it only attacked once, always. So this could still be risky for Dundies. Uh, he pivots into the Tita there. I think he predicted the High Dragon to come out. Or even or he predicted the Recover, one of the two plays. And the reason, okay, so pretty much Finch switching out there means he might not be Metronome because... Oh yeah, also Finch is toxic and he doesn't want to get... lose his Greninja. But I'm also thinking he doesn't have the extra sensory. Unless he just 100% knew predicted the High Dragon to come out and wanted to break the High Dragon and double the Tita to catch the High Dragon. Um, but I think he probably doesn't have the extra sensory, which means he's a different Z-move, probably like Water Z or something like that is what I'm thinking. And I mean, if the Tita has like Earthquake, I guess this also covers the packs going for Recover. Um, but yeah, Dunnies might just throw off a Toxic or Skull here. Finch could go for Earthquake. Okay, if that's his best move to hit it, but it's Crunch. Okay, so he probably doesn't have Earthquake. And um, yeah, Dunnies might want to switch out here in, ca in case this has Earthquake because he doesn't want to lose the packs. Um, so I guess Glisco. He doesn't have a safe switch in though because Glisco could get bopped by Ice Punch, Card could get bopped by Fire Punch. So like he doesn't have a safe switch in, but I still think he's gonna switch out into uh, one of these two. Um, so let's see if Finch predicts that. Okay, he breaks the switch and goes for Pursuit. Uh, keeps the packs low. Katana comes out, predicting, um, yeah, Katana could have lived the Crunch, could have lived the Earthquake, Stone Edge, all those moves, or Ice Punch. The only way that would have been bad for Dunny is if, if it was um, Fire Punch, and if he went for it on that turn. Now, he's probably banded, and Sumi's he's going to throw out a Smart Strike, because that hits the Tornadoes really hard. That hits pretty much everything really hard, right, outside of Heatran. And Finch, I don't know if he wants to go Heatran on potential Sacred Sword. Well, he could also Sacred Sword break the Hedron, but I think Smart Strike is just more likely as it hits everything outside of Hedron really hard. And he does go for Smart Strike. There's a lot to the Landris. Pretty sure that confirms that it's Bandit. Um, assuming that this, especially if this Landris has some HP investment, Bandit just makes a lot of sense. So Finch is free to U-turn out here. And now he can just go into his Hedron. Since the Katana stayed in and he knows it's locked in, he can count the damage. I'm pretty sure that's Bandit, right? So Dunnies is forced out into one of his three Hedron checks here. You guys already know who they are. Does he predict that and double? He doubles into Greninja, um, which covered pretty much those. And I get interrupted, so I'm getting super mad now. I hate that shit, dude. Someone walks into my room, I get like, I cannot focus anymore. I pause the recording for like two, 10 seconds. But yeah, um, Dunnies doesn't want to stay in here, obviously. Uh, Pax is at around 50, a little bit lower, maybe. Does he? I don't know if he wants to pivot into Pax because Finch could predict that and go for E Sense. Um, I think Finch either goes for Finch either goes for um, he sends he breaking the packs or maybe he goes for Ice Beam predicting High Dragon or Ladi. I'm not I'm not really sure. You either go for Essence or you go for Ice. Okay, he goes for Water Z. Okay, what did he predict there? Predict that Glass got to stay in. I guess uh, I'm not really sure. That also would have killed the Kartana, obviously. And it probably would have also killed the High Dragon. But yeah, I mean, I guess it covered like almost everything outside of the Ladi and the Pex. But um, yeah, Dunnies goes to Pex just to absorb the toxic spikes. Um, also, if Dunnies was in range where he could live an extra sensory, then going Pex makes a, makes a lot of sense. I, w I wasn't sure if it is. It might have been a roll. Now Dunnies might pivot back. Or does he need the Pex? Let me think if he still needs the Pex. Does he? He pivots back into Ladi. Yeah, Finch predicts the obvious pivot into either High Dragon or Ladi and goes for Ice Beam. Now he dies to Toxic. Yeah, I mean, the Pex is still good. Yeah, the Pex is still good to have because it annoys the Tornadoes and the Tangros as shit. So, like, the only way Finch can beat the Pex is pretty much with the Heatran because on Landris, he's choice. Landris is already low, only has a few more rock switch ins. And on Heatran, Dunnies has multiple other checks, like these three boys. Though the Ladi might just get bopped by a Crunch or Pursuit. Um, we're probably going to see either a Surf here from Dundies or a Roost, um, predicting Finch to go for Pursuit. I think we're going to see either the Surf or the Roost come out. Finch knows that he's probably going to predict the Pursuit and goes for Crunch, which is a good play. And he just crunches again in case he wants to um, predict the Pursuit and like go for Surf or whatever. 
And yeah, Gusko comes out, so Dunny gets to keep the Ladi as a forger. So now whenever he gets the Volcarona in on Tangros, I think he pretty much wins. Tita's super low. I mean, Tita died to plus 1z anyway. Yeah, and the Heatran is slow, so even if Heatran... Like, it's at 70-ish after Rock, so even if it's Pedeftran, it dies to plus 1 HP ground. Now, assuming it's that Volcarona, um, Dandy should be able to just win with the Volcarona at this point whenever he gets it in on Tangros. Unless Tangros has Rock Slide, but I don't think it has Rock Slide. So uh, Finch is gonna switch out here into probably Tornadus or... Okay, just sex the Tita. Okay, okay. I thought he would switch into like um, one of the flying types that are immune to Earthquake. But yeah, Tangrus comes out and now... Do we double here if you Finch? Because you cannot allow Dunnies to go into Volcarona. I'm not really sure. Dunnies is either gonna go for Toxic, pivot into Pex or Volk. I was confused there for a second. I was like gonna say he's either gonna go into Pex or Volk, but he just went for Toxic, yeah. So that's fine. Because even if, if the Glissco dies, then he goes Volk on this and just sets up. But he can also hard into Volk, I feel, as he does go hard Volk now, exactly. So HPS gets a crit, does nothing. Now he can just Quivalence up, and if he doesn't have Rock Slide, he's pretty much screwed. If this is HP Grunt, which I think it is. So now he goes Heatran, and this is pretty much... Um, now we will see if it's HP Ground. And it is HP Ground, and it just bops it, and I think Dunnies just wins this. So, um... I guess he doesn't want to risk missing the Fire Blast, so he just goes for Z Buck Bus to kill that. Uh, Landris dies to Buck Bus, it's at 23%, and Tangros also dies to Buck Bus, so he doesn't even have to risk missing Fire Blast. Also, Tangros is poisoned. I mean, Toxicking with Glisco made complete sense, I just had a brain fart there. Um, yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Honestly, not my best. Like, I'm just super mad. <laughs> like, I tried my best to set up that I can record the game live. Um, at first, I was planning to stay up, like, just stay up till 4 a.m. so I can catch the game live. But then I was like, okay, let me sleep for like six, seven, eight hours. Got my seven hours sleep in. I wake up 4 a.m. Nope, they played two hours earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys still enjoyed. Hit that like button if you appreciate the effort I'm putting in. And uh, I will see you guys with more tournament coverage. Um, I might record a tournament uh, short on live next. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, do you want to see a live or another tournament game? Though. I'm really fucked up, even though, like, I slept around 7 hours, but waking up at 4 a.m., it's not it, trust me. Um, <laughs> like, even though I usually don't sleep much more than 7 hours, waking up at 4 a.m. is not the play to make. <laughs> it's just, uh, really weird. Um, yeah, even when I had to, like, sometimes when I, like, um, used to go to school, I had to, like, wake up at, what's it called, like, 5.30 a.m. or 5.50. 45, but never at 4 a.m. Hello, who does that? But well, thank you guys for watching. Danny's can um, get the win in OU, um, which is cool for him. And um, yeah, Finchinator, I think I record most of his other Snake Draft games. You can still expect them to go up. Um, I have some more Danny games recorded that my man Seal might bring to you, but I'm not sure um, if he wants to do them. For Little Cup, from Finch, I still have his games versus Tricking versus. Mm, he played also two stall games. I only recorded one of them. That was like a two-hour game or some shit or 80 minutes. Um, yeah, you can expect that as well, but um, that's not like my main priority at the moment. Um, I will mainly be putting out games from the week five from Snake Draft. I will hopefully have some more UE games when um, Silvio has some more time to help me out with UU. Um... Yeah, I wish you guys a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Dude, I, I wanted to keep this around 10 minutes. Why is this video 19 minutes? <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm still really frustrated and I'm good at fucking up my outros. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>